to transfer your bone file to the printer, we're going to use a USB drive. On your computer, in your downloads folder, find the file that you downloaded and click and drag it over to the USB drive. Click on the USB drive to verify that the file is there and then click to eject the USB drive. Remove the USB drive from your computer and we'll go to the printer. At the printer, reach around the back bottom right hand corner and you'll feel a power switch there. Just flip that switch and wait a minute. The screen will light up and you will hear the chime. Insert your thumb drive. Filament is stored in an airtight container with desiccant packets to keep it from absorbing moisture. So we'll open our container, remove the roll of filament, and then reseal the plastic container in order to keep the desiccant packets dry. Now we'll put the filament on the side mount spool holder. We'll orient the roll in such a way so that the end of the filament is coming from the bottom. We want it to unspool from the bottom and then go up into this tube. I'll carefully remove the end of the filament maintaining control at all times of the end so that it, the end doesn't accidentally pass underneath one of these loops and cause a knot. Feed the end of the filament through the tube. You can pull the other end out so you can see where it's coming out. And on the screen, press control and load. You can see that the nozzle is warming up to 230 degrees Celsius. The printer will chime when the target temperature has been reached. And then I'm just going to straighten the end out a little bit and gently drop it straight down the hole. If you put your fingers right where the filament enters the hole, you can feel a little tugging. And actually you can see it being drawn down. Once that's the case, you can go ahead and reinsert the guide tube into the hole. After a few minutes, you'll see the filament start to come out from the nozzle. The color may be different at first. That's residue left over from the previous user. You want to wait until your new color is coming out nice and solid and that the filament is flowing smoothly it's on the screen. You can tap OK, and you should want to cancel the load, yes. And then you can back up to the main screen. You can grab the filament and yank it off, the excess filament. It cools as soon as it comes out of the nozzle. But you never want to touch the nozzle itself. It's very hot. So if you need to pick filament off the nozzle, use the long tweezers to do so. Before we start our print, we want to put some glue stick, a thin coat where our model is going to be printing. This is PVA glue. It's water soluble. It's the same kind of glue that uh, children use in schools. If you get any glue residue on the outside of the glue stick, make sure to wipe it off with a paper towel. Use the knob at the bottom to pull it the, re the remainder of the blue stick down into the cylinder. Um, make sure everything is nice and clean for the next user. And then recap it. Now on the main screen, we can tap Build. And then USB device. Tap on your model. And the middle icon is for Build. You may have noticed that very quickly, the screen flashed a message saying that the file was being copied to the printer's internal memory. So that means that it's safe to remove the thumb drive. The, print, the printer will be using uh, the file that's on 
local storage, not the USB drive. So the USB drive can be reused while you're printing. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see that the print bed is warming up to 60 degrees Celsius. It's at 58 now, 59. And the nozzle is reheating also up to 215. Once everything reaches temperature, then the print will begin. The print bed is now rising up to the nozzle and the printer will start printing with the first layer and continue until the whole print is done. And the print is finished. To remove the print, we simply lift up on the flexible steel sheet, which is held to the print bed by a magnet. You might want to let this cool off a little bit first. It can be warm to the touch. The flexible steel sheet bends, so you can bend it on one side to lift up one side of the print and then bend it on the other, and your print should just pop right off. We can take off this other piece of plastic here and put it in the trash can. You can see the glue residue. Um, that's water soluble, so that will wash right off in the sink. And we'll go ahead and do that in a minute. But for now, I'll just set the steel sheet here. On the screen, we see that the build is completed. We can tap OK and then tap back and tap control and unload. And the nozzle will once again heat up to 230 degrees Celsius. And the extruder will push the filament back out, kind of the reverse of what we did when we loaded the filament at the beginning. I'll lift up the guide tube so that we can see when the filament is being pushed out. Now you see the filament being pushed out. Once it's done, grab a hold of the filament and pull it straight out. You'll see a long string that follows afterwards. Now, before we pull the filament through the guide tube, we want to trim the end because there's a blob on the end here and we don't want it to get stuck. So we'll go ahead and use a pair of snips and cut the end. Best practice is to cut the filament at an angle so that there's a, a point. This helps the filament when it's loading uh, at the beginning of the process. So we'll snip this and then pull it through the guide tube. I'll carefully roll the filament in reverse and keep control of the end of the filament. Okay. And now I will carefully remove the filament spool from the filament holder. And then looking at the holes on the side of the filament roll, I will allow enough, a length of filament, about six or seven inches, and then I'll pass that length of filament through one of the holes. Uh, the length of filament is to prevent um, the end of the filament from accidentally coming loose. Now we'll put the filament back into its storage container and seal the top and then put the container back on the shelf where we got it. Now I'm going to replace the guide tube, uh, but before I do, I notice that there's still a little strand of filament here. So I'm going to make sure that I pull that completely out and discard that. And now I can replace the guide tube. I've washed the flexible steel sheet in the sink. You can see it's nice and clean. When you get it wet with water, you'll notice that it will turn purple. So it will be very easy to see. 
what you need to remove. Make sure you dry the steel sheet completely before you place it back on the printer. Especially make sure that the bottom is completely dry. To replace the steel sheet, just slide it back against the two retaining clips at the rear of the print bed and let it, the magnets snap it in, back into place. On the screen, we can confirm that unloading is complete by tapping back. And we'll tap back again. And then look in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and you'll see the nozzle temperature. Right now, it's currently at 41. You want to make sure that the nozzle temperature is 50 degrees or less before you turn off the printer. So if it's more than 50, wait until the temperature drops to 50 or below. And then you can reach behind the printer and flip the switch to turn off the printer. And the screen will go black. To finish cleaning your print, we'll work over a trash can so that we can discard the excess material. We'll start by peeling off the raft from the bottom of the print. And then we can also use our fingers to remove some of the support materials. If your bone has any delicate areas like this bone does, you want to be very careful around those areas. So I'm just going to use my hands to peel off the bulk of the support material, being very careful for any delicate areas. I'll use the snips not to cut the supports, but to gently peel them away from the model. So I just sort of grab and peel, and most of the supports should just pop off when you do that. I'm being very careful around the delicate areas of the bone. So take your time. If you mess up and accidentally break a piece off, you can use super glue to glue it back on, or you could actually reprint the model if you like. The prints are relatively short in print time, so it's easy enough to just print another one. Now I'm actually using the snips to cut some of the pieces of plastic that are stuck to the model. You could also use an X-Acto knife or a file or other tools to bring the model to a finish that you are happy with. You may notice some discoloration on parts of the model where you've been cutting or filing. To eliminate that discoloration or white areas, you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Be gentle though, you don't want to melt the model, but just by exposing it to a little bit of hot air, it should bring the color back. So this looks fairly good, looks decent. I would say this is finished.